welcome to my channel. My name is Bethany and I do motherhood and lifestyle videos here on my channel. Today I am going to be talking about how to use a fetal at home Doppler. I am specifically talking about the baby Doppler Sonaline B which they were amazing enough to send to me and I'm really excited to be show you guys how to find your fetal heartbeat for your baby um, at home anytime. This has actually been really great for me. I've never had a fetal Doppler before, but I can tell you that I have already been loving it so far. It just gives me this great peace of mind knowing that, you know, my baby's okay in there even when I can't feel the baby all the time. I am currently 16, almost 16 weeks pregnant. I'm still not feeling a ton of movement. And so being able to use the fetal Doppler has been so great. Just knowing that my baby is moving in there and definitely has a heartbeat. Now I just want to put a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video that a fetal home Doppler is in no means better than going to the doctor if you um, are having problems or have a gut feeling that there's something wrong with your pregnancy. Definitely go to the hospital or anything like that. Check with your doctor um, about the health of you and your baby before you make any conclusions with using a at home fetal Doppler. First, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use the at-home Doppler. So we have here the probe and we have here the machine. So you can just turn it on with the power button here. And it has a really great little LCD screen where you can see the baby's heartbeat and you can see um, if you're catching anything on the Doppler. Now there was also included in the Doppler some little ultrasound transmission gel. Now you're going to want to use quite a bit of this when you use your fetal Doppler so that you can get the best reading as possible and which is great that it actually comes with this. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys how to use the fetal Doppler as I try to find my baby's heartbeat. Now the first thing that you do is make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure that you're laying down in a place that you can have some time to just lay down and try to find your baby's heartbeat. Now just mind you that it might take a little while for you to find the heartbeat and this may cause some stress on you if you're not able to find it. Don't fret. That doesn't mean your baby's heart is not beating. Sometimes your babies do move around. It is common so that's why people don't recommend using this because it does sometimes cause stress on mothers when they can't find their baby's heartbeat but again like i said make sure that you're comfortable you're laying down i like to put a towel in my jeans or whatever pants i'm wearing so that i don't get any of the um, ultrasound gel on my clothes because it definitely happens and then it's just an easy cleanup for afterward. So what you want to do is you want to turn on your fetal Doppler, put the probe to your belly and now I'm about 16 weeks and so my uterus has come above my pubic bone but if you are earlier in your pregnancy you can probably go a little bit lower just above your pubic bone because that's probably where baby will be. You just want to take the probe and just move around your belly and just move in a slow manner because if you go too fast you might miss it. You may hear some weird sounds, some swooshing, some gurgling, but when you find that baby's heartbeat you'll definitely know that you've hit it. You can even hear the baby's movements and it will kind of hear like a, a quick bloop on the fetal Doppler which is also very cool as well just knowing that your baby's moving around in there even when you can't feel it yet. <coughs> that kind of wraps up this how to use a fetal Doppler at home video. I hope you guys found this informative so that you can find your baby's heartbeat at home on your own fetal Doppler. If you're wondering when to get a fetal Doppler of your own, I do have a link down below for you guys so that you can go ahead and check out some of the products that Baby Doppler has on their website. And I hope this video was informative for you as you're trying to find your own baby's heartbeat at home on your own fetal Doppler. Again, if you did like this video, I hope you guys will give it a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!